This tutorial continues the process of creating an event and covers the configuration of the event's registration types. Registration types are the tickets available for an event, including single and group registrations, as well as paid and free options. On the registration type screen, your first choice will be whether you wish to set an overall capacity for the event in the event capacity field. Next, to create a new ticket type, Click on either the free or paid buttons on the top right, which will create a basic entry for the registration in the section below. For each registration type you create, start by providing a descriptive name in the type field. If you have not set an overall capacity for the event, you will be able to set a capacity for each registration type limiting the number of registrations for that type. For paid tickets, set the price for the ticket in the price field. If you wish to delete a registration type you have created, click on the drop-down menu next to Settings on the right and select Delete. After you confirm the change, the registration type will be removed from the event if it has not already been used. If you wish to copy a registration type you have created, click on the drop-down menu next to Settings on the right and select Copy. This will create an exact duplicate of the registration type that you may now edit as needed. To configure the advanced options for a registration type, click on the Settings button to the right of the registration type. This will expand the section for the registration type. To edit the time frame when this registration type will be available for use, you can set the starts on and ends on fields. The first way to configure these fields is by using the time before event starts option, which will let you set the start or ends on in relation to the start date of the event. The second way to configure the registration schedule for the registration type is with the specific day option which lets you specify an exact date. Next, if this registration type is a group registration, allowing multiple attendees to be registered under a single registration type, indicate the size of the group in the group size field. For online events, you can specify a time limit in days before the event that contacts will be allowed to cancel their registration in the allow cancellation field. Also for online events, the Registration Details section allows you to give a description of the registration type for reference. If you wish to specify a minimum and maximum number of the registration type that can be recorded in a single transaction, use the Registration Requirements field to specify the min and max allowed registrations. In the case that you wish this registration type to be hidden from your public site, mark the Do Not Display on public site checkbox. In the case that this ticket type is used for the large majority of your events and you wish it to be added automatically to all future events you create, mark the add this to frequently use registration types box. Lastly, when you create a ticket type, you have the ability to indicate who will absorb any credit card processing fees with the fee type dropdown. The Absorb option indicates that you as an organization will pay any fees. The Pass On option indicates the registrant will take these fees on. The Split option that the costs will be split evenly. When you have finished configuring the setting for a ticket type, you may close the section by clicking the X button in the top right of the section for that registration type. When you have finished configuring all registration types for the event, click on the Save and Proceed button in the lower right. In the next tutorial, we will discuss how to finalize settings for the event you are creating.